Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, just a quick one this one, I've had a few people ask me about my fuel rails. Uh, how I've done them, what parts I've used, what size of the parts, what hoses, where I've got them from etc. So I just thought I'd do a quick um, sort of walkthrough or breakdown should I say of the fuel rails and how I've done them. Which will if you're following the channel, you would have seen a couple of weeks ago, I put in the new fuel lines. So, we'll start off with the fuel rails. They are VS fuel rails from a VS Ecotech. Um, to my knowledge, the Series 1s came with a billet fuel rail. So, what I've done is I took the ends off with the um, sort of bulb uh, fittings. And I've taken them out and I've used uh, 3 8 NPT fittings uh, to just let me double check that. Yep, that's right. So I've used 3 8 NPT uh, fittings to tap the thread inside the billet rail to AN8. Uh, I've done that on both sides, so you'd need four of those for the fuel rails. Um, so yeah, 3 8 to A and 8 and you'll have to tap your thread. The other alternative too is you can weld them on, you can get the weld on A and, A and 8 fitting. Now over here onto the driver's side, I'm using the factory lines. So what I also got, which are these fittings going onto the factory lines, they're 5 sixteenths to AN6. So you can see on the top one there, 5 sixteenths screw um, into an AN6 to AN8. Um, I think they're called expanders or reducers, but you want to go AN6 from that, from that 5 sixteenths fitting AN6 to AN8. <clears throat> and then AN8 hose, I've used... Uh, PDFE hose so that goes into another <clears throat> AN8 fitting AN8 fitting P PDFE hose end these two uh, there's another two there they're AN8 hose end uh, fittings <clears throat> the wire block is AN8 as well and you've got one line feeds at the back into the driver's side rail there and then the other one I don't know if you can see it feeds into the other one just down there on the passenger side <coughs> those ones in there are 90 degrees so I've got two 90 degree AN8 fittings there and also another two on my fuel pressure regulator. Going over to the front side here where the alternator is, I've had to get an AN8, <coughs> an AN8 uh, 180 fitting to PDFE, PTFE hose again. And here I've got the 120 degree. With the return I've gone straight from the AN6 uh, 5 sixteenths to AN6 fitting straight to an AN6 return line. It's got a bit of a kink in there there but it doesn't seem to be affecting it but that comes back down so you'll need an AN6 hose end for there and what then I've also done is put the AN6 90 degree down there with my fuel pressure regulator I've got an FPR 2000 turbo smart one um, you don't have to go that big but I was in a rush when I got mine and got one with straight AN8 fittings out of it um, that came with the AN8 orb fittings as well so you'll need two of those to go into your 90 degrees for your 
sort of feed lines feeding in. That is pretty much about it, really. A lot of people have asked me what parts to get. I've told them what parts and sent them my uh, tax invoices, but tax invoices are no good because, well, you've got other parts in there, like my um, oil drain and oil feed for the turbo. So what I'll try to do is I will try my best to make up a little bit of a list and I'll add it to the end of this uh, clip um, sort of as the outro I'll put it in there and hopefully this helps you guys out <clears throat> you can run normal uh, braided hose as well I don't think you have to run AN uh, not AN um, PDFE hose pretty sure you can just run the standard standard shit but I went the PDFE because I was recommended to me so obviously if you're gonna redo and take out the factory lines well you won't really need uh, the 5 sixteenths to AN6 fitting because obviously there'll be no need for it just go straight from there with a joiner or a filter I'm gonna put a filter in one day when I get to it but you can go straight from there straight to the back of the car to your surge tank or whatever setup you're running but that's pretty much about it also depending on your fuel pressure regulator depending on which one you go with you can also go with the FPR 1200 and you don't necessarily need to go the 2000 uh, the 2000 comes with um, AN8 fittings but the 1200 comes with AN6 so you can always go AN6 to AN8 fittings as like an expansion so screw the AN6 side straight in the FPR and run the AN8 feed lines if you wish you don't have to go the AN8 stock um, FPR 2000 because it becomes a little bit pricey I was in a rush when I brought mine, which is typical, I'm always in a rush, so yeah, you don't have to. Anyway guys, that's pretty much all you need to know for the fuel rail. Uh, any other questions that anyone may have, please send me a message via the Facebook page. Uh, if you haven't done so already, I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, I got all my fittings from EFI Solutions in Queensland. They've been really good. Um, if the website's obviously not up to date with quantity on parts, they get to you straight away. They message you or ring you or text you and um, they consult you and work with you uh, on that pretty much nearly instantly. So uh, I've had no dramas with them. They've never screwed up an order. So, yeah, they've been really good. But I've ran AN8 feed lines, and I've ran AN6 return line. For the return line, you'll only need one coming from your fuel pressure regulator on this kind of setup, uh, and you'll need probably about three meters of AN8 hose line to do your feed line. But, yeah. I'll try to put it down in the description uh, with exactly how much you'll need and sort of work it out from there. Anyway guys, I hope that helps. Uh, I couldn't really find much when I did it myself, so if this can help people, then I suppose that's a win. And I'm glad I could help. But yeah, I'll try to put a link in the description of EFI Solutions website where I got all my parts from as well as the Facebook page. Again, uh, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Um, if you're a regular, make sure you like the video, share the video. Uh, like I said on my last video, let's try and get some 
to try and get some growth happening for the channel because uh, there's a lot of things that are coming up that are going to be pretty exciting and pretty cool. I know I'm really keen, so I hope you guys are keen to see and watch it unfold. So Anyway, thank you guys for watching another one, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.